Hi, welcome to another episode of Rachel Teaches Math. Um, today we're going to be talking about writing a quadratic equation using your graphing calculator. In a previous video, I went through showing you how you can find the first and second differences, and it's a lot of work, but now you're going to have a little shortcut. So make sure at the end of the video, you like and subscribe. You can cancel at any time, okay? <laughs> so first thing I'm gonna have you do is just clear your calculator, okay? So for those of you who don't know how to clear the calculator, if you're using a TI-83 or 84, you just go to the second button, which is in the upper left-hand corner, plus sign, seven, one, two. And you'll get used to like repeating that. Your teacher's probably saying it all the time, second plus sign, seven, one, two. And it's going to say RAM cleared. So from there, you're going to go to the stat button. So if you can find Y equals in the upper left-hand corner, go down three and to the right three, press stat, okay? It's gonna give you the option to edit a table. Press one, and we're gonna to start to enter our table values. So what I need you to make sure of is that, you can just zoom in that your calculator starts with L1 and L2, okay? There is a way, if you go into the settings under edit, there's a way to make sure if it starts on L2 that it's starting in the correct spot, but if it's not starting on L1, it's gonna mess up your data and give you an error. So I'm just gonna enter in my X values. So the first X value that I have is negative one, so press negative one, and the biggest mistake that I've seen is students saying minus one instead of negative. The negative button is in the bottom corner. So negative one, enter. Two, enter. Three, enter. And then go to the right arrow, and then you're in list two, or L2. I'm gonna put in 12, three, and four. So 12, enter, three, enter, and four, enter. Now, normally I would have my students just make sure this actually is quadratic by finding the first difference and the second difference. But in this case, I'm telling you it's quadratic. So you can just go right ahead and find your equation. You're gonna go back to the stat button, okay? And again, stat from y equals is down three to the right three. But this time we're going to calculate. So if you look to the right, there is a calculate feature. So go to the right. And you have lots of options. You can calculate a linear equation, a quadratic equation, um, exponential. We're gonna choose number five, and that is your quadratic equation. If you have a nice, new, beautiful uh, TI-84+, plus, it's gonna ask you so many questions, like L1, press enter, L2, enter, frequency list, enter, enter, enter until you get down to calculate, and then it's gonna give you your A, B, and C value, okay? So you can see that this is ready to go into standard form. I have my pen somewhere here. Your A value, make sure you get this. It should say A equals, I'm gonna change to a darker color. A equals one, B equals negative four, and C equals seven for this table of values. Final step, make sure you put that into standard form. So a standard form of a quadratic is AX squared plus BX plus C. So my final answer should be Y equals or F of X equals one x squared or just x squared minus four x plus seven okay and as an added check if you wanted to take this equation and type it into y equals get your table of values by typing in the equation pressing second and then graph and you can confirm to get the same table of values back okay short and sweet remember to like and subscribe <laughs> my students are filming right now and um, turn notifications on. Bye.